Hi and welcome back. Um, in this video, I'll be discussing how to create uh, the foot on the bottom of this cup. And so you're going to see me do a couple of things. I'm going to be tap centering. I'll be using loop tools and I'll be using wooden tools as well um, to carve out an interior here, which will lighten the cup up a little bit and, and kind of finish it off and, and finalize the form. And so the first thing you want to do, if you're going to tap center like me, is you dip your hand in, in water. So notice I just get my fingertips wet. And I just gently add a little moisture to the rim of my cup. And then I try to center it as close as I can. And then I get my wheel going, just, you know, not super fast. Just a little, just enough to sort of tap it. As you can see, it's kind of off center right here and so what I want to do is I'm just going to gently tap it into place notice my left hand is bracing the other side until it feels like it's resting directly in the center and spinning smoothly and once it's there I'll stop my wheel press my vessel down against the wheel head and that creates some suction which is going to keep this in place and then the next thing I need to do is I'm thinking about the diameter of the foot. All right, how much am I going to carve out? And so I've done this sculpting, um, these alterations after throwing the pot. And so I don't want to get into carving through that because it'll be a bit of a nuisance. So what I do is I'm looking for almost the best middle part that's not impacted by the alterations and gently laying my needle tool against the clay Notice my left hand is keeping a finger on the center of the piece and its thumb, my thumb is actually bracing against the tool as well. My hands are always touching, always working together. And so now I have this circle to guide me as I use my loop tool to remove the clay in this space. So I'll get my wheel going a little faster. And I'm using a kick wheel, so I have a very direct uh, amount of control to the speed, and I keep the speed pretty slow. And so I'm going to start laying my tool into the clay very gently using my left index finger. I'm just letting the clay scrape through the tool, not pressing down too much. As you noticed, it got off center. So I'll just tap it back into center. This is why tap centering is handy especially if you don't have a lot of clay to remove. And then I'll press it down, maybe a little more, keep it in place. And I'll just keep removing clay from this middle space. I'm thinking about the depth, how deep did I go when I opened up the piece, and how much I want to remove. I'm just kind of tapping it back into center when I have to. it down. So here I'll kind of finish carving away material. And then I'm going to start thinking about how I'm going to handle this edge that I've created. I think I should add some water to the room. So just like I demonstrated before, Tap it into place. Press it down. And then now I'm going to use a bottle cap. So I have all these various sizes of bottle caps. I've actually had these for a really long time. So I've been slowly collecting all the different sizes. And I'm going to use this to help me apply pressure, keep the piece in the middle. And I'm going to carve away a little bit more creating that foot using my large loop tool. And I'm pressing pretty hard now with the bottle cap there because now I'm into the sculpted parts, which want to grab my tool and pull it out of my hands. And this is why touching the tool with both hands is really helpful. It gives you a little more control. And once I feel like I've carved just enough away, pull this cap off, clean this up a little bit. And I'm just about finished removing material. 
And so the last thing I do is I use a wooden tool and just gently kind of press down and compress the piece, compressing the surface. This prevents cracks. Also, it just helps seal the clay body too. I like the surface that it creates. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water with my fingertips. Just kind of smooth edges down. Just like that. Take it off the wheel. I'm using a damp sponge to clean up the rim. And then I have my special wooden tools that I'll use to finalize some of these edges, but that's not important. So what I wanted, what I hope you learned is how to tap center, how to remove a little excess clay from the bottom so that doesn't weigh as much. And thinking about the profile of the piece, right? This piece goes straight down to the tabletop visually. And so all I've done is removed a little bit of material and made the form look and feel a little more finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and I'll see you again soon.